All right, right, guys. Hi, this is Julie Jayoto Trading Strategies. It is the first of the year, and just my follow-up video, um, something really, really cool I want to show you. Um, this is the um, Jets uh, St. Mom 5. And so if you go to the Market Analyzer, go to Columns, go to your solvers, you can see the um, name of the solver. I'm using the JATS MA9 for Market Analyzer. That was my ninth solver, little template I made for the Market Analyzer. So that was number nine, Market Analyzer number nine, in that order that I was creating them anyway. So um, that you can use as your Bloodhound logic. Um, just say you get the um, mini package or something, which just comes with the uh, indicators and the Market Analyzer, which has some Bloodhound solvers. So the M St. Mom 5 um, is a pretty cool little solver to use. Um, you could use any of those solvers uh, inside of Blackbird. Um, but this is a pretty nice one. And um, the only caveat is by using it this way that sometimes you'll see this is a great example for these ranges and the reason I use that 14 period. You see right here that traders started putting downward momentum right here at the top of that range, trying to send price back down. That's exactly where those algos started engaging, but yet price kept going up. So you had some sort of market maker or somebody running price, it's still pretty thin, it's the holiday, uh, did a little evil on them and rolled right over them, got their stops and then turned around and it looks like he's pushing it back down, pushed it back down to get the stops on the other side of that, so a little one, two, three, uh, whatever that was and now it's going back up. So the markets are pretty thin, it's kind of crazy trading, but um, to make sure you don't get those short trades in Blackbird, what you can do in your order settings. So like right here, you've got your St. Mom 5 template. In market entry, you can require a um, Heikineshi bar to be on it. And what that looks like is um, it normally says none, place immediately. You come in here and change that to indicator value. And there you click on the name of that indicator. You don't want the ATR. You want, you can set any indicator value. We want to go with the Heiken Ashi closes. Right, so you put that in, Heike and Ashy close, and so even though the um, signal was short, you see how the algos all kicked in. I mean, the the signals are there. The um, price kept going. Uh, you can you can know that that is, traders tried to hit that to the low because momentum. This is momentum, momentum. They were hitting that negative momentum, but price rolled over on them. So we just saved ourselves a failed trade at that location. We would not have gotten those signals and um, the, the Blackbird would not have executed. The chart, the Bloodhound template shows the momentum, but Blackbird would not have executed them because we said only to go in the direction of that Heiken Ashi close. So it would have required a down close to be on that momentum. And then you'd be keyed into that trade. So I'll show you that next week in the trade room um, and talk a little bit more if you are interested in how you can use a few of these higher time frame solvers. If you wanted to set a condition, another one to use would be that higher time frame trend. Um, and that is um, MA2, 
that was the second solver I made. So that's that amalgamation of that higher time frame trend. So it, you could use that as a condition in um, either, uh, yeah, instead of MA9, you could put another one up here, another, so this could be an or. You can do either the higher time frame trend with price, with Heikineshi, or momentum. So um, I'm working on a chart template to try to combine a few of these for you to put on the chart, uh, but it won't be ready. I'm in the process, you know, I'm still working on some other things with the PT indicators. So the PT, the profit targeted indicators, but I'll get that chart uh, template for the market analyzer set up in the near future, and I'll get working on that. Um, so for the profit target, you can use the um, one, two, and three. Uh, so the one, two, and three basically is one third or thirds of this. Um, you have a profit target one, this five cents. So to go from the mid band to the end is five cents, so, and go to the mid band to the other end is 10 cents. There's your two, your 10 cents, and to get to that next level would be um, 14. So you're just dividing this in three. And um, if we were to put a five minute PT3 on the chart, we can do that PT2 with the uh, five minute PT version three and put it on a five minute. There we go. Now you can actually see it. See your stops and targets. So the bar closed and made it to PT2. See what I'm saying? So here's your bar closes and you're trying to reach to these PT2s or PT3s. So we got to PT2, PT2, and then it started kind of rolling over. But um, that would be your targets and stops using the statistical method. And on that downside move, you can see it closed. It got to two and three, got to two and three, got to two, got just past one, not quite to two, and it started changing. So just having the ability to see inside these little mini ranges uh, with the ultimate goal of knowing where you are inside the RTH range. And ideally, like I said, you're gonna go up or down from these RTH ranges. If you're inside the RTH range, rotational, and that's exactly what you are expecting to see, rotational downs and ups and all over the place. So not really directional trading, but within this framework, you can set your Blackbird up with your own logic using these indicators or your own, and we'll be coding some of the JATS indicators in the trade room, and using um, the PT, the profit target indicator, uh, for um, stop losses and targets, and using that in the, um, Blackbird. All right, so I, um, with that said, um, using that Heike Nashi in the market analyzer or the market entry as a condition to be with your bar close uh, for the signal, will make sure that you get your bar signal if you get my template or anybody else's and you're not sure what's in a black box template and you just want to make sure that's in there, you can set it up like that. All right. We'll see you next week. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good one.